perpetuate these prayers. We raise an altar of dedication to the Lord Jesus Christ, to El Elyon, Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth over every sub-Saharan African nation. And Father, we thank you for this opportunity to pray. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you and we bless your name. Father, we may not have everything we want, but we have you, which is the greatest gift that man can possess. May we come to know that when we have the power of God working in our life, you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. And Father, as we begin this prayer, we will begin, Father God, to lift up the nations of Sub-Saharan Africa. Father, we thank you and we praise you, God. We glorify your name, Father. We magnify you and we lift you up. Father, as we begin this prayer, we begin to speak over the nations that are in Sub-Saharan Africa. Father, we lift up Angolia. We lift up Benin. We lift up Botswana. We lift up Burkina Faso. We lift up Burundi. We lift up Cameroon. We lift up Cape Verde. We lift up Central African Republic. We lift up Chad. We lift up Comoros. We lift up Congo, Brazzaville. We lift up Congo, De Democratic Republic. We lift up Cote d'Ivoire. We, we lift up Djibouti. We lift up Equatorial Guinea. We lift up Eritrea. We lift up Ethiopia, we lift up Gabon, we lift up the Gambia, we lift up Ghana, we lift up Guinea, we lift up Guinea-Bissau, we lift up Kenya, we lift up Lesotho, we lift up Liberia, we lift up Madagascar, we lift up Malawi, we lift up Mali, we lift up Mauritania, we lift up Mauritius, we lift up Mozambique, we lift up Namibia, we lift up Niger, we lift up Nigeria, we lift up Ruyan, we lift up Rwanda, we lift up Sao Tome and Principal, we lift up Senegal, we lift up Seychelles, we lift up Sierra Leone, we lift up Somalia, we lift up South Africa, we lift up Sudan, we lift up South Sudan, we lift up Swaziland, we lift up Tanzania, we lift up Togo, we lift up Uganda, we lift up West Sahara, we lift up Zambia, we lift up Zimbabwe, and Father, we begin to pray over these nations, we raise altars of dedication to the Lord Jesus Christ over these nations, Father God, we declare that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, and and we declare over these nations that the prophetic purpose of God shall be realized in you. For Father, we know that there is a contention over the nations and you have explained this to us in Psalms 2. But we declare on today that the contention of the nations shall bow to the prophetic purposes of God. Lord, your word in Psalms 2 says, why do the heathen rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. But he who sits in the heavens shall laugh and the Lord shall hold them in derision. And God, we cry out for your laughter to begin to be released into the nations that have set themselves against you, that have set themselves against your anointed, that have set themselves against the church of Jesus Christ. God, we pray that their plans to hold us in cords and to hold us in bonds shall be destroyed, that the counsel of the Lord 
for every nation shall remain that the counsel of the Lord and the counsel of the Lord only shall stand in the midst of the nations that the counsel of the Lord for every nation that is in sub-Saharan Africa shall begin to materialize and though they plot and though they scheme and though they try to work witchcraft and sorcery and divination your power God shall break uh, the bands of wickedness into pieces uh, we declare God that every plot uh, plan scheme and working against the nations shall be torn asunder we release division derision confusion chaos pandemonium into the powers of darkness by the power of the Holy Spirit father we pray that you would begin to hold them in derision oh God father we pray that you would begin to speak in your wrath your word says he shall speak to them in his wrath and then distress them in his deep displeasure yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion shall speak to him in his wrath and distress them in his displeasure yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me you are my son today I have begotten you ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession father we pray over the church of Jesus Christ that we will begin to ask for the nations as an inheritance God the souls of people that are bound that they would come into the kingdom for such a time as this father break us uh, from the materialistic uh, spirit which always wants us praying for cars and 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 houses and status God may we have the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ to begin to ask for nations uh, as an inheritance that people will come into the kingdom God you have set us to be kings and priests unto our God father open the eyes of our understanding as to why you said to ask for the nations as an inheritance for your son is the king of the kingdom and your son is the head of the church and if he is to ask for the nations that asking will come through us and father we thank you father god that you shall break them with a rod of iron you shall dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel now you told us to be wise O kings be instructed you judges of the earth serve the lord with fear and rejoice with trembling kiss the sun lest he be angry and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little blessed are those blessed are all those who put their trust in him and father we pray that on today your ministers will put their trust in you put their hope in you put their confidence in you no matter what governments are doing this is the prophetic word over the governments over the kingdoms of the world that plot against God that plot against his anointed there is a designated end no matter what you're going through there is a prophetic end to the plans of darkness and we cannot forget that and you may say oh but you don't live in this region but I am married to the region and I understand what is going on in the regions and God we pray for strength those who are about to lose strength a new grace a new zeal a new supporting God a new supporting grace those who are about to faint God let them not faint but let them stand strong to see their reward for you have destined in your word that we will receive a reward if we don't faint 
God, we break off a fainting spirit of the churches of sub-Saharan Africa. You cannot faint. You have been given a prophetic gift of prayer. No one prays like the African nations. No one prays like the African church. Begin to use your prophetic gifting that God is giving you. Begin to use your tenacity, your strength, your perseverance to begin to stand in the realm of the spirit. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. For Father, we declare your authority over the earth as its creators for the earth and the people of the earth belong to you. Even as Psalms 24, one and two says, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. The Passion Translation says, Yahweh claims the world as his. And we as his church must begin to know that Yahweh claims the world as his. It does not belong to Satan. Everything and everyone belong to him. He is the one who pushed back the oceans to let the dry ground appear, planting firm foundations in the earth. And Father, we just acknowledge that the earth belongs to you, that the nations of sub-Saharan Africa belong to you, that when you formed them, God, you had a prophetic purpose for each one of them. And God, we pray that the prophetic purposes of each nation shall be released unto the ministers of those nations, that they will know the purposes of God for the nations in which they live, and they shall begin to receive revelation of how to pray over the prophetic purposes of their nation. We This is not a time for despair. This is not a time to give up. We cannot be bound by what we see in the earth, but we've got to come up, come up here and see, even as John in Revelation 4 was called up to see, so shall it be to the sub-Saharan African church, that God shall call you up to begin to see his prophetic purposes for your nations. And you shall begin to pray the will, the plan, and the purpose of God over your nations. You shall begin to pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You shall begin to pray that you are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. You shall begin to pray that I have authority. I have purpose. I have a reason to live, for I shall serve the purposes of my God in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray that the Holy Spirit would hover and brood over the nations and their governments. For Father, many of the governments in sub-Saharan Africa are very oppressive. But Father, we pray that as we begin to pray, the bands will be loose and you shall begin to change the makeup of governments, Father. And you will even begin to call some of those in your church to begin to serve in governments, to begin righteousness, bring righteousness to the governments of Africa. So many people say, oh, that is impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible. And Father, we pray as it was in the beginning in Genesis 1 to 3, when darkness was all over the waters, the Holy Spirit began to brood, began to move over the waters. Let there be a breaking in the name of Jesus Christ. A breaking anointing 
In the name of Jesus, let the breaker's anointing begin to be released over the nations, that there shall be a breaking in the heavens. Rushkitakataya, Rushikata, Rush. Sikataya, Rosala Gasutai Bakura, Roshi Shinganai, the Karushkai, Griko Kota Kisai, Roshi Kitia Ko, Rasakina, Breketura Sakia, Murusutu, Risakaya. You shall rule in the midst of your enemies. You shall rule in the midst of your enemies, said the Lord. Do not look at yourself as being small, but look at the power of your God that is in you. Rise up. Rise up, rise up, shake off uh, depression, uh, shake off despair, shake off the garments of darkness and rise up and take your place. Hallelujah. Dela kishikia bashinde balotora salakia so rishikataya rusalabo se dostein dai 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 kuba rukichingataya rushikai. You shall rule in the midst of your enemies. Okay, malabo salabahaya. And when God said, "Let there be light," there was light. Father, we declare light over Sub-Saharan Africa. We declare a breaker's anointing over Sub-Sahara Africa. Those things that have been stagnant, those things that would not move, uh, they shall begin to move at the command of God. They shall begin to move uh, as the Holy Spirit uh, begins to hover uh, over the regions. Uh, government shall change, says the Lord. Government shall change uh, as you pray, uh, as you pray uh, through the Holy Spirit. Governments shall change. Uh, it is the Lord who gives a promotion. Uh, it is the Lord God who sets up one man and takes down another. And God says uh, there is a change coming uh, to the governments in sub-Sahara Africa as you pray, as you trust me, as you don't give up, uh, as you stand. Uh, you will see a changing of the guard, says the Lord. Uh, new men uh, with zeal, uh, with vision, with integrity, says the Lord. For I will begin to deal with the corruption of government, says the Lord. The greed of men who have let people be oppressed. The greed of men who have taken money for themselves. But let my people be oppressed. You shall see me move, says the Lord. You shall see me move. I'm moving in your nation, said God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Partner with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. 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 And let the glory of God come to these regions and their governments. Father God, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask that your light shine over these nations through the power of the Holy Spirit, that the power of spiritual darkness be broken over the land, 
and over the people. Open the eyes of the people to receive the gospel of the kingdom. Open their eyes to receive the light of Christ through salvation, deliverance, and redemption. Redeem the land from stronghold. Redeem the land from blood covenants. Redeem the land uh, from occultic spirits. Redeem the land from water spirits. Redeem the land from shrines uh, and things that have been set up over the land. Uh, we declare there shall be a knocking down uh, of altars uh, as the altar of the Lord uh, begins to take its place. Uh, Father, equip your ministers to rebuild the altars just as it was with Elijah. He had to rebuild the altars. He had to rebuild altars unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And God, we pray that there will be altars rebuilt in the land. That, Father, we will have churches that rely on the altar of God and not on altars. Even as some people have serpentine spirits, reptilian spirits, pythons under their church altars. God forbid if that's you. You are given an opportunity to repent. Uh, if you're relying on water spirits for your power, if you're relying on reptilian spirits for your power, if you're going to the shrine and going to the church at the same time, God is giving you an opportunity to repent. Uh, this is your day of repentance, says God, for I will judge you if you do not repent. Do not let your time of repentance go by. You say, how can I get out? God says, turn to me and I'll get you out. Hey, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, we cry out for those who have defiled their garments. Hey, Hey, those who have defiled their garments, God is giving you an opportunity to repent. Hallelujah. Redeem the land from strongholds. Redeem the church. Let the resources of the kingdom of God be released upon the sub-Saharan nations. Let the true and living God be glorified. Let corruption be exposed and judged. Let joy come into the land. Father, so many because of COVID have been going through sadness and depression, but God, we pray for a redeeming grace to come to the land, for economic stability to come to the land, for resource, resources to come to the land, for power to come to the land, that Father, those who are crying out just to eat, Father God, that you shall rebuild the government, Father God, and it shall not be rebuilt for men who take, uh, but it shall be rebuilt for the people, that the people will have resources, that the people will have help, that the people, God, will begin to see a government that cares. And God, we push back. The grip that China is trying to take over Sub-Sahara. Hey, shoot. You will not use the nations of Sub-Saharan Africa for your wicked agenda of world dominance. But Father, we pray there will be a pushback in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, that takeover spirit, that thing that comes to take the resources of Africa and use it for your own purposes. God, we pray that you will raise up men and women with business ideas, men and women who can take the resources of the nation for the good of all men and women of sub-Saharan Africa that can begin to take what the land has and use it for the benefit of all people. And joy will come to the land. And Father, we pray Isaiah 9, 2 to 3, that the people who walk in spiritual darkness will see a great light. 
Those who live in the dark land, your light will shine on them. You, oh God, will increase the nation. You will multiply their joy. They will rejoice before you like the joy and jubilation of the harvest. And as men rejoice when they divide the spoil, God, we declare a rejoicing, a joy, an overtaking of the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Even Matthew 4, verses 16 to 17 says the same thing, but it gives a key. It adds that from that time, Jesus began to preach and say, repent, change your inner self, your old way of thinking, regret past sins, live your life in a way that proves repentance, seek God's purpose for your life, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And as we begin to keep, seek God's purposes, as we begin to make him first in our lives, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Matthew 6, 33. But the Passion Translation says, may the glory of his name be the center yes. upon which our lives turn. May the glory of God's name become the center upon which your life turns. And that goes for any nation, America, any other nation. God must become the center upon which our lives turn. And we must begin to pray as Jesus told us, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in sub-Saharan Africa. Manifest the governance of the kingdom of God over these regions because the kingdom brings his power, his dominion, his authority, his will, his plan, and his purposes. God, we pray that sub-Saharan Africa will align to your kingdom purpose. May the glory of your name truly be the center upon which our lives turn. And Father, we find that in Matthew 6, 9 to 10. And Lord, we pray that the blood of Jesus Christ would protect us and the nations as we release these prayers of intercession over the sub-Saharan nations. For surely says the Lord, this is a time and a season where I'm changing the guard. I am changing the way ministry works and I am changing the focus of ministry that the focus will be upon the kingdom, that the focus will be upon the king of the kingdom, the Lord Jesus Christ. For as you begin to make Jesus the king of your ministry, you shall see significant change come. Yes, you will see a contention because there is a contention from the realm of darkness and the realm of light but you shall see great breakthrough as Jesus Christ becomes the center upon everything that you do in ministry. As you begin to exalt the king of the kingdom, exaltation shall come to you. As you begin to exalt the king of the kingdom, the resources of the kingdom shall begin to come to you. As you begin to honor the king of the kingdom, you shall see great release in the realm of the spirit, says the Lord. This is a time for ministries to align themselves with the kingdom agenda, not your own personal kingdom building agenda. But when you advance the king, the king will surely come into your midst. And where he is, everything that he carries comes. Healing, signs, wonders, miracles will come into your midst. And even the provision that you seek, even the wealth of the kingdom will come. Not for personal upliftment, uplifting, but for the resources of the kingdom to be multiplied 
amongst those in the kingdom. And yes, you will have your own, says the Lord. But it is my heart to give, says the Lord. And I will require, says the Lord, those in my kingdom to help those who are in my kingdom. No longer will it be a prayer, do well, be well, but you must give to the purpose that will make them well, says the Lord. And Lord, we thank you for these prayers. Lord, we release a, a new anointing of strength. A new anointing of strength. A new anointing of strength. Hey, Kalabosa. Father, begin to release and stir up the gifts within your ministers. Word of wisdom. Word of knowledge, gifts of government, gifts of discerning, gifts of healing. Hey, hakarabasoro, hallelujah. For much is in you, says the Lord. Much is in you. But God says you must change your mindset. Stop comparing yourselves to others. Stop comparing yourself to other nations. But grow in me. Grow in the, in the stature of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grow in him. Grow in grace. Stop comparing yourself. Stop wanting to be somewhere else. Because if you want to be somewhere else, you can't be what I want you to be where you are. Hey, receive a new anointing released through the Holy Spirit for prayers over the nations in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.